Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I'm not going to try to keep this like our regular tutorials where we just go step by step and breaking down a text title, which I will do some of that in this video. I will teach you how to create this style, but the biggest emphasis I want to put on in this After Effects tutorial is that there are many ways to create a title or any other type of object in After Effects. And towards the end of this tutorial, I want to help you think in the mindset of how to create anything inside of After Effects and how to improve your work, save time, and grow your business. So let's go ahead and talk about that towards the end of the tutorial, but let's go ahead and get started on this quick technique here. You can download this free project file from my website. The link is in the description of the video. Go ahead and download it so you can follow along or see how I create this a little bit more closely. So here I have my title, and the first things first, you always want to pre-compose your titles if you're going to do any destructive workflow. So go up to Layer, Pre-Compose once you have your title in there, and you can call this one main title and you can click OK and basically this will allow us to later on change out our text so we don't have to redo the entire process so so let's come over here and the first things first you're gonna probably want to grab the pen tool and you want to want to create some lines to go through so we're cutting up our text grab the pen tool click a point up here and bring a point down here and then click off of it and then you'll have the stroke now of course make sure you click on the word fill and you set that to none and you click on the word stroke and you set this to solid color and I'm using five pixels. Okay, so here we have our line coming through here and of course what I want to do is go to add and I want to add a trim paths and we'll open up trim paths, we'll add a keyframe for start percentage and end percentage, we'll set the end percentage to 0%, we'll move forward to one second and we'll add it all the way to 100% after a second, make an easy ease keyframe. We'll add a keyframe for start percentage and we'll move forward and set it to 0%. So now you'll get this line that comes through like this. Now what we can do is duplicate this layer and we can offset it over here, duplicate both these layers. Okay, so now we have this perfect sequence in here, but what else I want to do is select every odd layer here. I want to go up to layer transform flip vertical. And I also want to go to Layer, Transform, Flip, Horizontal. can put these back in place as best as we can. And now I'll be coming in from different directions just like that. And that's pretty interesting. So now obviously we got to cut up our text, but first I'm going to come here and pre-compose our lines. Keep that organized. And now we'll cut up our text. So to cut up our text, what we want to do is duplicate our main title, turn it off at the bottom, grab our pen tool, and start masking around the lines. So boom, we'll bring it all the way down over here and we can just do this. So now we'll just have the R because we masked along this line and we'll duplicate this layer again. We'll delete the mask, we'll grab the pen tool again and we'll continue our mask to be right over here like this. So as you can see, we're just following the lines and now we have our second portion of our text here and we'll continue to duplicate this and repeat the process all the way through to the end of our animation. And now what we want to do is animate all of our individual text compositions over here. So hit P on your keyboard, add a keyframe for position, move all these keyframes forward in time to maybe go here at one layer at a time and we'll bring up our lines so we can see what we're doing. And what we can do is offset these forward a little bit and make sure they're on the line. So we're kind of just positioning these offset by a touch. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose all of our main titles except for the full main title has none of the mask in it. And we'll come over here, turn on our main title without any of those masks. And first things first, we'll go to the mask layer, we'll split the layer, and we'll delete it or you just drag in the out point. So what's going to happen here is we'll cover up all the cuts and then bring in the end point of your main title. So obviously we don't want to see our text here at the beginning. So what we can do is grab our, you know, our text layer here, the mask layer, and grab the rectangle tool. And we can kind of come here to this point in time and draw a rectangle mask around our text like this so we zoom back here you see that we have a rectangle mask here and now if we preview through this this is what we have we have our very simple text with a few of these cool techniques that we implemented in this tutorial which is about good organization because now we can go back into our uh, our main title comp here and we can replace the text with whatever we want and obviously now those cuts will stay exactly the same which is very important and we also talked about masking and how to break apart text in a very cool way using shape layers. 
So there are many ways to create titles. It's basically endless, and there's no way that every title tutorial is going to teach you how to create any type of title that you want. The best way to go about creating titles or anything else inside of After Effects is understanding what you want to create and being able to maybe even find examples of what you're looking to create. And one way to easily be able to create anything you want is to look at work like, for example, on videohive.net. I've been using them for examples for all my tutorials, and I will continue to use these for examples. But here's the thing. On videohive.net, there are pretty much any type of title that you're looking to create. And here's the best part about using templates or even breaking down templates to understand how to create these sort of animations. The best thing about templates is one, they help you save a ton of time in the sense that it could take you hours to create a title animation. Secondly, they also can help you save money if you look at it this way. If your hourly rate is say $50 an hour and it's going to take you three hours to create a title animation, that's going to cost $150. Whereas if you bought a template for $20 and it took you 20 minutes to create a title animation, you're literally saving probably a little bit more like $125, especially if you're hiring somebody to do this type of work. It helps you save a ton of time buying a template. It makes sense. It helps you save time so you can focus on your business or have a little bit more uh, you know, free time to hang out with your family. It can also save you a lot of money if you're hiring someone else or if you're paying yourself per hour and that takes away from doing other things like focus on your business. And lastly, it also can help you improve your portfolio and impress your client because depending on what level you are as a video producer, you're going to be able to have access to top of the line work and really be able to show off a strong portfolio, showing off work that you wouldn't be able to create without a template. So there are a lot of benefits to using templates and it really helps you improve your work and your business and more importantly, saves you time. Go ahead and check out some of the links that I have in the description of this video that go through some of the titles that you're seeing right here. See if you know they make sense, understand how to break them down, or if you're looking to save time, improve your business, go ahead and purchase templates when you are in need of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to take away a few techniques from it and hopefully be able to develop a mindset around business. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like on it because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.